What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here, telling like a TIE is again. Uh, I found out uh, after that whole the man the time story I read that the guy was non that anonymous found the guy who had the pictures of Amanda Todd and uh, I thought we thought it was uh, this guy named Cody Maxson which it wasn't but it was this dang Danny Quelch Quelch Quake Quake whatever he goes by the alias Viper and this whole incident went down on blog TV now I'm gonna say it like this though I'm gonna be honest I am I'm proud of Anonymous. I give them credit where credit is due. Because what they did. I said they did something that the fucking police never did. They found out who did this. Who had pics of this girl. The police didn't do nothing. The police sat around on their ass. Didn't get up to bust a fucking grave. But it took Anonymous to find a man who really did this. Police didn't do a damn thing. But sit on their ass and, well, we can't do nothing. Well, we can't do nothing. But it took Anonymous to find out who had pics of this girl. And I give them most respect. Mostly. Most. I, well, actually, I give them a lot of respect. I don't give them most. I give them a lot. They went out there and they found the guy who had photos of this 15 year old girl, this minor. I said to me it's like this to me it's like this I think they did the hell of a job they found this guy they say look this is the guy that did it uh, the guy he goes by Viper like if you go on blog or something like yeah you'll probably find him Viper 2323 his name is Danny Quaich uh, he's 41. He's located in Wisconsin. He's married. Uh, P, uh, there was a guy. Somebody said it was this guy that was stalking Amanda. He's got a YouTube channel. And, uh, He's got a Twitter a Twitter account, uh, Viper2323. And, uh, like I said, man, I'm going to post a little thing off in there so you can tell him what you want to say to him because this guy made this girl commit suicide, and I think that's unnecessary for him to do all that. Like I said before, I give Anonymous a lot of props. I give them a lot of props because one thing is. Because <laughs> one thing is, they did the police job. They but they found out who did this. Maybe they had a little slip up and mistaken this Cody Maxson. But they really found the guy, and it only took them to find the person who did it. And not the police, not the FBI, none of that took anonymous to do that now like I said I'm proud of them I'm proud of them I'm proud of them let them be the fucking internet police let anonymous be anonymous be the fucking police over the internet or something because to me when they bust their ass on something like this about the man of time story it's telling you something man that ain't bad they are not bad people they're not bad people. They bust their ass to find out who did this to this girl. And I'm proud of them. I'm, I'm very proud of them. I give them a lot of props, man. I, I give them more props than the government. Because they did the right thing. <coughs> but it's like this, though. Like I always said before over the internet, watch what you say and do. Watch what you say and do. Because one thing is, if you don't, if you don't, man, shit like that can happen to you where one of your kids or one of your nieces or nephews or one of your uh, cousins, young cousins might commit suicide or something like that because you never know what's going to happen. But it took, a, it took Anonymous just to point that out. 
to say, look, this is the person that had the pics of Amanda Tyne. Why ain't y'all doing anything? We found this man. Why ain't y'all doing anything? That's how it is, man. They are asking, we found him. Why ain't y'all pressing charges? Why ain't y'all doing justice? Why ain't y'all doing justice for this girl? Why? That is the question. And that's how it is because one thing is when you have a 40-year-old, 41-year-old man having pics of this 15-year-old girl's breast and y'all don't do nothing about it, then y'all don't know what you're doing. It took Anonymous to catch this guy. It took Anonymous to catch this guy. And, and, and it's and, and it's I ain't trying to be mean to Anonymous. I ain't trying to put them down or nothing. But it's like, it, it, it took Anonymous to do the fucking police job. It took Anonymous to do their job. That that makes you, that ought to make you feel bad. The people that you're trying to get rid of are the people who did your job for you and find a, 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 a suspect. A pedophile. It took them to find, to find somebody y'all looking for who did this. I said, man, like I said, man, I don't have, I, 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 I just can't talk shit about these people because they did the right thing. It's just the police that didn't do a damn thing. Police sat on their ass eating the fucking donut, I'm, I'm, I'm eating the donuts and shit. And they went out and they found this guy, this Danny Quake, Quaid, Quaich, 41-year-old man married and got kitty porn all up on his computer. I'm telling you, man, it's it, it's a motherfucker when people did it's been given a bad name find somebody that y'all looking for over the internet. It's bad. It's bad. Not to put numbers down, like I said, but it's bad when the when a numbers gonna do your fucking job. They 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 found this guy. An amount of probably a matter of minutes or seconds, and sent that information to this is the person that did it. Do you knew there was a grown man taking pictures of this girl's chest, sending all around her friends? Y'all didn't know who it was, but it took anonymous seconds or minutes just to find this fucker and strap the back. He goes. The guy goes under. Viper 2323 probably on blog TV he goes by Viper 2323 on Twitter and that's how it is man that's, that's how it is man like I said man I give anonymous props mad respect I give them all that shit because they did the right thing they didn't beat around the bush. They didn't play games. They went and got who they was looking for. And that's one damn thing. that I, that's, that's, that's not the only thing that I'm proud of Anonymous for. There's a lot of things I'm proud of Anonymous for. Them hating Scientology. I hate Scientology too. But this is one thing that shows the world that Anonymous is not bad. It's just people. It, it's just... People who are misunderstood. And I understand them. It's just people don't want to understand them. But like I said, man, it took them to do a policeman's job. It took them to do a policeman's job. And the police didn't know where to look. Did not know where to look. They sat on their ass eating donut. Oh, we look for it later. Oh, we can't find nothing. But it took anonymous seconds or minutes to find this guy in a matter of minutes. So I bet, I bet, I bet the police feel like an ass now since they got the ass for by anonymous on finding somebody. Just like I said, man, that makes no sense makes no sense that the police really didn't want to do their fucking job and find this man. 
And that's how it is, man. I, it's just police need to wake the fuck on up and realize something, man. That these people can do a better job than they can. <sighs> like I said, man. If y'all look up this Viper 2323 20, on uh, Twitter, man. Just dog his ass out, man. Because one thing is... I'm glad they put this man on blast because if they didn't, we would never know who had the pictures of this girl. Not to say we're pedophiles, but we would never know who had them in their possession and kept sending them out to other people. The guy probably was sitting there and say, look, see this girl, she, she, oh, she killed herself. I do, I took pictures of and made her kill herself. That's what they was, he was probably doing showing off and it took them it took anonymous just to put them in this place just to put them in this place like like I said I don't have no I have no disrespect for them I respect them to the fullest man because they did the right thing they showed they did everything under the sun my brothers and sisters because you know why because they ain't stupid but uh I'm just telling like it is, cause you know why, man. Cause I thought, man, just doing this video saying, "A hey, anonymous found this guy. She, they busted their ass. They found this guy. They got the, they gave the information to the police, and and shit, man. They really did their jobs. So I gotta definitely show anonymous some love, cause they did the right thing by <laughs> outing this fella. That's how it is, man. I got mad respect for him. Mad respect. One love, baby. One love. What you call? <laughs> That's how it is. So he, he probably sitting up here. Why? Why are you uh, giving anonymous prompt? They did not even. No, no, no. I'm giving them prompts because what the fuck they did. Better than any other motherfuckers would have did. I try to do shit like get me, and I got like a phone call from a dumbass saying he gonna put my information out there on the internet. what happens <coughs> but it's like this though <coughs> anonymous did their job Don anonymous got justice for this girl this girl this girl will never see the age of 18 she'll never know what love is she'll never get married she'll never have kids but thanks to anonymous they found justice for this girl they really found justice for this girl <coughs> Like what the, what the soldier boy say? Superman that hoe? He's Superman. This viper fucker. He's Superman that motherfucker. Like I say, y'all gotta show man respect to an artist, man. Because if it wasn't for them, man, then you wouldn't know shit. You wouldn't know shit. So y'all definitely gotta show them some love because they busted their ass to find this guy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been another Afro Joe Tim like a T.I. motherfucking is. Like I say, show y'all respect to them. I'm going to post the storyline where they made a mistake. And, uh, in the, uh, in the description box, I'm going to post what, uh, what Anonymous found about this guy in the description box. I mean, because I want to show them love and respect, man, and just say, thank y'all anonymous for doing this man finding justice for this girl because one thing is if y'all didn't find justice for this girl this girl would never have nothing thank y'all peace love and afro grease